Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something very special. We have this box which I'll be unboxing for you today. And this box holds mm, delicacies I'd say. A delicacy that is world renowned. <laughs> it's a truffle box but a truffle box with a twist. It's a watercolour truffle box and it was sent to me by the lovely Inga from SA Watercolours and I'll be unboxing it and also swatching the colours that are inside. So I'll begin by opening the box so you can see and look at it. It's, it's gorgeous. It has a little truffle card, it has a little palette, ceramic palette and watercolours and also we have <laughs> this lovely tablecloth to put the colours on. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my tablecloth on the table and I'm going to begin unboxing on here. So let's start with the palette. Going to just take the string off if I can. I'm not very quick with these, I'm sorry. And I've just dipped the string into the water, into the watercolour pot, because of course. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's a lovely, lovely palette. Let's put that aside. And we have also a watercolour palette that is inspired by truffles. And I'm going to open this. Let's put that to one side for now. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Me and unboxing, not very. Um, not a good synergy there. Um, here we go. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful wooden box. Oh, I, I keep dropping things. My apologies. My hands are a little bit shaky. But I am uh, handling something very beautiful. <laughs> so they're a little, I'm a bit too excited, I think. So we have some of the colours that are in the box here. And the box itself, if I take this off, it's got a lovely print inside. And open it. Oh, it's with a magnet. Yeah, you can see in the box six colours inspired by truffles. And there's this tiny, tiny, <laughs> absolutely cutest brush ever in here. It's a Windsor & Newton brush. And that is so sweet. It's beautiful. So these six colours I'll be swatching for you. I'll just open the final box that's in here and put that aside. Oh, it's a ceramic brush holder in the shape of a leaf. It's beautiful. Put my little bits of paper to one side there. And also included, just put everything on the tablecloth, is the set. Um, it says six truffles. The energy of tranquility we want to share with you. 
It's not stillness, it's harmony, the art of synergy. And there is Moraloni, which is Caput Mortu, Atramentum, which is Ink Black, Sombra Si Pro Bruciata, Moroni di Sepia, I hope I'm pronouncing these right, L Lemonite Genuine Stone, and Dera Verde Antica. Sweet Pea, my little dog, is very excited about this as well, as you can hear her barking in the distance. <laughs> there might be truffle hunters around, who knows. Um, it says underneath, a very special set of rare pigments. The way the truffle mushrooms grow, excuse me, the way the truffle mushroom grows in synergy with the trees inspired us to create this set. And of course, the... Um, their website underneath. I cannot wait to try these. I'm back and I've just set everything up. But before I begin swatching, I'd like to add that Inga has very generously given us a coupon code, which I'll add to the video description below for those of you who would like to purchase the truffle set. And um, of course, I'll add a link to the SA store for you who would like to check out all their colours. They have lovely colours um, and palettes and many, many more things. So I'll begin swatching. I've added a drop of water to each of our colours. And I'll begin with Lemonite, which is this lovely earthy yellow. I'll swatch it first in mass tone. I think I might switch brushes. This is a little bit too small. Once I've finished this, swatch. I'll switch to my larger brush. That's, that's a lovely ochre colour. The um, pigment number is PY43 and NA, which means it's not available. Yes, let me switch to a larger brush. I think it'll be much easier. And I'll dilute it. This lovely handmade palette here. Oh, that is so soft. That is lovely, soft, earthy yellow. Very ethereal. It's lovely. Next we have uh, Terra Verde Antica, which is PG23. And I'll just lift some off the half pan. Oh my goodness, I love that. I love it just by seeing it for about two seconds. It's very soft. It's going to be difficult to get a mass tone from this, which is not um, is not strange for De La Verde. That is gorgeous and very very creamy. Let's just. Dilute that. This is going to be lovely diluted. Yeah. I'll add a little bit more. That is so soft and lovely. 
Next we have sepia and that has a not available extract in it, which I'm really excited about trying. <laughs> okay. Oh my, what? Oh my God. Okay, that is gorgeous. Um, that's so inky, which makes sense as it's sepia or sepia. I can never say that right. Sepia or sepia. Let's um, dilute that. It's like coffee. It has the color of coffee. It's beautiful. And it just flows from the brush beautifully, like ink, like watered down ink. That is gorgeous. I, I have a bias towards sepias or sepias. <laughs> I do love my browns my earthy browns. Oh, it's lovely. Um, okay, next we have ink black, I'm talking about inky colors. And ink black is PBK7. Let's get lots on our brush. I think I went wonkier than I intended to there. Lovely black. I'm at a guess I'd need to see this diluted, but I think it's a warm black. Middle to warm black. It's um, it's pigment number is not available and PBK7. Okay, Baloo is moving about in the <laughs> studio, so if you hear rummaging, he's trying to get into his little crate. It's a little box he likes sitting in. No, um, I'd say more of a neutral black. Then warm, that looks warmer. Mass tone. I have been fooled. I have been fooled by ink black. I'm not sure. When I see a color that sometimes it looks to me like it's a cool color or it's a warm, then it looks like it may possibly a warm color. I just say, I, I just know that it's a middle color. It's a color that doesn't really lean anywhere. I'm not sure. I, I, I seriously, I'm not sure, but that is a lovely, lovely black. Um, Moriloni Caput Mortum, a Caput Mortum. I love Caput Mortums. And Get plenty on my brush. Okay. That is, that is black. What? <laughs> that is amazing. Okay. That, that is so, so um, opaque and black. I have to um, dilute this to see what it looks like once I've corrected this uh, circle a little bit. No, it's going wonkier. And, oops. Yeah, okay. The granulation on this is gorgeous. That 
is so beautiful. Beautiful. And our final color is Umbra Cipro Bruschetta PBR7. And this is a lovely earthy brown. So like a lovely earthy amber, amber. Dilute it. granulation on this is lovely and this here this sepia has not granulated at all it's it's beautiful though it's absolutely gorgeous and the de la verde so soft and the lemonite is gorgeous it's so happy i love that the ink black which now I see yes it's like a middle black it's a beautiful palette and it is the palette with colors that I love I love my earths I love my earthy greens and um, the browns look absolutely gorgeous very beautiful and the black is very neutral this gorgeous gorgeous palette and that's it for me today thank you all for being here and sharing these delicacies with me these watercolor delicacies um, I'll say my awkward bit before I go if you like this video please like uh, the video hit the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm share my video to more people um, and the more the merrier <laughs> If you would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification button so that YouTube will let you know when I have a new video uploaded. And leave a comment, let me hear your thoughts. Tell me what you think of these colors. Um, I love this palette. I love everything about it. I love all the details. It is, um, it's almost like a ceremonial palette if you know what I mean. It's, it's got all these little bits that fit together and make this almost like a ritual. It's, it's a lovely, lovely set. Um, thanks to Inga again for this palette. I, I'm going to leave you here. I hope to see you soon. I don't know when that's going to be, but I will be uploading a video next time I feel able to. Health-wise, uh, when my health allows me, I'll be um, filming a new video. Um, so I think that's it. That's it for me. Oh, before I go, keep creative, keep safe, and also keep hopeful because that hope is what sustains us. That hope is what keeps us afloat in the darkest moments keep that hope alive don't let it wane don't let it fade i'm there with you holding on to that hope and hoping for brighter days ahead okay um now i'll go see you soon i hope to see you soon bye bye for now bye